We've been getting a lot of questions through our website, kayarm.com, about how well does the uh, kayarm work with the Hobie Cat kayaks. So I talked to my buddy Jason at Genda.com. He has a gentle paddle sports up in Ottawa or Kempville area. And he's loaned me this kayak and it's a Hobie 12 Pro Hobie Mirage Pro Angler 12. That means it's 12 feet long, it's three feet wide, it's the biggest kayak I've ever seen, and it weighs 132 and a half pounds. And about the only thing this kayak doesn't do is levitate. And I'm gonna show you today how two kayak arms, completely out of the box, can help you do that. The first thing I did when I, when I went up onto the kayak arms is I pulled this. Before I got to the kayak arms, I pulled it out in the water and then I paddled up so I don't wanna damage my Mirage Drive, okay? And so I pulled it up onto the kaya arm. I, I, I will explain later, but I have a little added rope technique that keeps it held in here as well. Um, there's a bit, there's a, you have to, for these larger kayaks, you have to be very uh, careful about the installation procedure. And I'm gonna have a whole separate video on how to install uh, the kaya arms for large kayaks like this. But I'm showing you today the kind of stability. So it's great. And of course, these are big kayaks. They got a lot of stability anyway. But, um, you know, this is, this, the kayak arm definitely provides a little more stability than just, you know, you can't do this, you know, your kayak, or the kayak arm, uh, sorry, the, um, for the kayak in the water. What I'm going to do today now is just lift it up. And so, as you know, I've mentioned many times in my other videos, the front one is used for stability. The back one is not. It's all the way at the bottom. So right now I'm going to raise this back one, okay, so my, and then I'm going to unclick my added rope technique so my kayak doesn't float away on me. So I'm just going to pull that up a notch. And now what I'm going to do is just disconnect this rope here that I've got. And I'm going to talk about that later uh, in the next part of the video. But it's really great to have this, uh, this added rope technique as it gets me perfectly on my arm exactly the same spot every time. And it holds it uh, also from kicking out on the wider kayaks. It's important to do that. And I'll talk about that in the installation video. Okay. So you can see I've got the kayak arm just sitting a little bit, uh, the kayak arm supporting the kayak, holding a little bit of the water. And I just start at one end and the other end. I'm gonna use my jig. And what I do with my jig is I, I don't use it this way, but I use the hook facing backwards. And I just take a couple of links, or actually one link behind here. And then I just bend with both knees, my arms straight and lift up, okay? And so you can see there's the Hobie cap levitating. It does levitate. Anyway, uh, just hook on here and away we go up. And we'll go up on this side too and finish this off. So lift it all the way up now. There you go. And lift it all the way up on this side. There you have it, folks. The Hobie Cat uh, Mirage Pro Angler 12, all 132 and a half pounds levitating on your dock. Um, thanks very much for watching today. Happy pedaling with these kayaks.